another monthly favourites video. Uh, let's run through our favourites for the month of March. March. <laughs> Okay, my first favorite is something that I bought in London at the end of last year. I feel like I say that in every video. This is the first thing I've ever bought from Illamasqua and it is their cream highlighter. It's a product called Gleam and the shade is Aurora. It's basically a very fine cream, slightly golden champagne color. It is absolutely beautiful. It's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's very much a glossy highlight as opposed mm -hmm. to a shimmery highlight. It does not look like it has chunks of glitter in it or anything like that. It's so natural looking and because it's cream that also just makes it look even more natural. It looks so good. It just gives you this completely gorgeous inner glow. It, it is beautiful. Mm. Camille even rushed out and bought one because they are so amazing. My first favorite of the month comes from Elizabeth Arden and it's their new grand entrance mascara. To the best of my knowledge, this is launching in April, so this month. It's so good. I can't explain to you how good this is. I mean, I've been using it every single day basically since I got it and I, the Ooh. obsession is not waning. So uh, we'll do a close up, but it's got a very slight kind of C curve, the brush, and it has um, different length bristles and then like a little knobbly bit at the top um, which you then use to define your lashes so you use the rounded side to create volume the length the kind of underside to do the length and then you can separate it's great on the bottom lashes the formula is amazing it holds a curl really well i think i mean what do my lashes look pretty great pretty great pretty yeah. great yeah i think that this is just an absolute game-changing mascara and if you're in the market for something new I know you won't be disappointed. Just as a little update, last month I put the Revlon All-in-One Mascara in as a favorite and that still very much is a favorite but I've now tried the entire range of five new Revlon mascaras and my absolute favorite is the blue one so I hadn't tried this last time. This is, now. I am. Mm. It's, this it's is, soft. yes, volume and length magnified. Mm. This is a really really good everyday mascara so it's got a bristle brush which normally I'm not a fan of. I normally really like plastic brushes. Mm. It makes you have those plush lashes so mm. like lots of fine lashes it's that kind of mm. mascara and it's just really nice fluttery everyday lash yeah it doesn't look crispy yeah it's not a mascara i would necessarily pair with a smoky eye i think you'd need something with a bit more impact but for everyday i love it mm. mascara as you know is a very personal thing i think that's the kind of the beauty of the range it's the kind of thing where you need to try out according to what you're looking for um, and find the one for you but for me and my little fine stubby lashes this is a real winner still love the red one but this just pips it to the post my next favorite is a hair favorite and it is this um, bristle brush from ghd it's the 35 millimeter it's really heavy and like weighty feel that Jeez, bro. Yeah, that's why I don't have to go oh, to the gym. You have such muscles. I know. If you're like me and you have kind of fine frizzy hair and you do blow dry your hair every time you wash it, I can't recommend this highly enough. It has the perfect amount of bristles so it really does grip the hair and gives you a lot of tension when you're blow drying so that you're able to get a really smooth, sleek finish. It's not particularly exciting, but if you are someone who blow dries your hair regularly and you are looking for um, a bristle brush that really does perform well, then I can highly recommend this GHD one. I'd never tried any of their hair brush offerings before and I just decided on a whim to give this one a go and I'm really glad I did because it's worked so well for me. My next favorite is something from our v &A waterfront haul which we did mm. months ago. I, I have a bit of a mental block with some of the things that I buy in that I have a, like some kind of odd thing where I can't actually try them for weeks no, no. and weeks and weeks. It's not some of the things. It's <laughs> all of the things when we get sent things i rip them open and use them immediately and i'm like this is amazing and then three months later them for weeks she was like oh no i can't <laughs> use it it makes no sense i don't know why anyway it took me a really long time to get around to trying these they are the smashbox step-by-step -step contour sticks it is a set of three shades a contour shade a highlight shade and a bronzer shade i think i was worried that they were going to be a little bit stiff and difficult to blend and so that oh, sort of put me off opposite, yeah. um except they are amazing mm. they are so soft they blend out like a dream like you minimal effort i don't I, think i've like, ever used a product as creamy as no they are before. absolutely unbelievable i mm. can't recommend them enough this contour shade is really subtle it's beautiful i wear it regularly in the day and i never normally contour in the day because mm. i'm not bothered but you literally draw it on blend it out the end mm. you can use your fingers i often use um either a beauty blender or a sculpting brush of some kind even sometimes my foundation brush mm. the highlight shade is really subtle again very it's good more for a matte highlight than it's a matte highlight yeah. exactly um and the bronzer shade also it's just lovely so I kind of pop it in the temples of my of my forehead and I just kind of blend it out quickly and easily and it just looks so beautiful on the skin and not powdery and 
doesn't end up looking too strong and too much. Just they are so awesome. If you're even remotely interested, rush out and get them. They are mm. awesome. This is a foundation from Bobbi Brown, and this is their skin foundation stick in the color warm beige. This is something I've been wanting to try for a really long time, and I decided to buy it because I'm dabbling with the idea of buying the BBU palette, which contains the foundation corrector and concealer shades in this like glorious palette. And so I thought, let me just try the foundation to make sure it's awesome before I commit to that. So I've been using this for on and off the past month, and I'm really impressed with it. I really like the ease of application. You literally just swipe it along your face, and it's also supremely buildable. So if you're having a bad skin day, this sucker will cover anything. And because it's got quite a high moisture content, it's very it is obviously very creamy. I always worry with stick foundations that they're going to drag on my skin and yeah. just not have that same slip that liquid foundations do. Okay, for the second favorites video in a row, I've got a skin creamery product. So last month I talked about the skin creamery facial hydrating oil, which I'm still using all the time and I love. I hadn't yet tried the skin creamery everyday cream, which is amazing. That's how much I've used in a month. Mm. Nearly half the jar. It is amazing. So this is one of the three products they make full of natural ingredients, blah blah blah. The point is, it's the most wonderfully hydrating body cream I've ever used. I love the smell. It's mm. got a lot of coconut oil in it, so it's just got this kind of fragrant coconutiness, but not in like a synthetic way, like the way that and you know I love the Body Shop Body Butters, but they can smell ever so slightly kind of strong and, and yeah. synthetic. This smells really subtle. It's just beautiful. It's full of all sorts of different delicious oils that are mm. really good for you. Sinks in really quickly. I use it on my limbs. I use it on my chest. And my chest is really sensitive, so I can't use body butters really? normally on my chest. It breaks out, yeah. Um, it's even more sensitive than the skin of my face. I don't know why. Strangely enough, it is the only body cream that I've ever used that you can also put on your face. Like mm. genuinely, it, and I've got slightly oily skin, so it's really lightweight, sinks in beautifully, doesn't leave a residue, just makes your skin feel really nourished and mm. hydrated, and it's just marvelous. And I've absolutely powered through it, so I'll be ordering another one pretty soon. It's yeah, I think I might have to awesome. Myself. It's so good, and just the packaging is so beautiful. I love well packaged and designed local brands. Mm. They deserve lots and lots of support. So mm. if you're looking for any body cream, please go and check out their website. It's mm. very, very cool. Okay, my next favorite is from Estee Lauder and it's their new, prepare yourself for the name, Double Wear Waterproof All Day Extreme Wear Concealer. As you've no doubt gathered, I'm a huge fan of Estee Lauder complexion products. I think that they are sensational. I think mm -hmm. as a brand, they have the best offering complexion wise from start to finish. The yeah. powders are great, the foundations High are great. Yeah. yeah, and the, the concealers are Phenomenal. I recently finished the other double wear uh, concealer, that, which is the double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer. I remember it! It's nice and present. Um, <laughs> which comes in a tube with a little doe foot applicator. And I was going to repurchase it, but then I saw that this had come out and I was like, well, I've got to give it a go. It is probably one of the best concealers I've ever used in my life in that it does not crease even without a setting powder. Um, it's creamy and it has a nice kind of radiant finish. Um, and it just normally with something so creamy it'll just sit in the lines immediately if you if you don't set it But then setting it takes away the the kind of dewy glow. I, I even like a dewy glow under my eyes I just want it yeah, to be me everywhere. too. That's I what people are saying about that Glossier stretch concealer. Yeah, that it's got a kind of a like a creamy sheen really mm -hmm. I use it predominantly under my eyes and I am smitten. So yes. well done Estee Lauder again you knocked it out of the ballpark my last favorite is what I would call a golden oldie. It is something that I've had for a very long time and I recently broke it out again. Mm -hmm. It is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in shade 54 Boy. This is the lipstick I wore on my wedding day. I bought it because Camilla had it and I tried it and was completely in love. And it is just the most easy to wear, flattering, mm -hmm. neutral, Glossy, but not too glossy, creamy lipstick. It's making me want to go and buy it again. It's Mine's so finished. comfortable. Yeah. It's just such a beautiful lipstick. And I, I went through a phase of being really uh, sentimental and precious <laughs> about the th stuff I wore on my wedding day. So like my wedding perfume and my wedding lipstick and whatever. But I just reached the point where it's. I just think it's stupid and life's very short and there's no point in letting this thing go off. I can't because... believe that's the same one you've had since your wedding. Sorry, that just the bond like yeah. thing you just dropped. Well, because I didn't use it for months and months. Oh my god. Um, this, this illustrates the point of me using things immediately and like ferociously and Julia being slow and steady and taking her time. I'm a hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just, it's wonderful. So if you're looking for an amazing everyday lipstick that's a treat, this is it. Mm. Obviously with the current exchange rate, it ain't cheap. It was never going to be cheap. It's Chanel. I didn't even look. I don't want to know. 
if you're looking for a treat or like a really good gift for someone, yeah, that's a great gift. This is good because it's really, really flattering. I think that's probably in the region of five to six hundred grand now. Probably, but it's Chanel, baby. Mm. My next favorite. This is more than embarrassing. Uh, it's all glamour here, kids. Yeah, is a, a, a trimmer. So it's not a vagina trimmer, by the way. <laughs> no, it's for my face. Um, <laughs> for your lady tash. <laughs> not that one. This one. <laughs> Anyway, so for ages and ages I've been saying to Julia, oh, I moustache and I can't deal with it. And she's like, get it together. You don't have a moustache, but I know I do because in the sunlight I can see it and it's like embarrassing. Even I also though it's have a blonde, little bit of fluff. Even though it's blonde, it's still unsightly. And the foundation gets caught in it. Yes. and then The it, older you get. Yeah. It's, it's oh, guys. It's not ideal. So anyway, so I thought to myself, do you know what? I don't want to thread my upper lip or wax it because I will get ingrown hairs. I'm prone to them and it's just not worth it. So I decided to get one of these little Safeway trimmers from Plix. It was 80 Rand. I've only used it two or three times and I, I probably didn't even need to use it the second and third time because the regrowth is so slow. It's really handy. It's super quick. You just zoot, zoot and it's gone. And then you don't have to worry about having that like foundation there in that bit there that gets so surf and looks really Builds up and gets caught. And Julia was like, you're gonna get regrowth and it's gonna be super stubborn. No, I said you yeah. must try it because yeah. I wanted to see what the regrowth is like. What do you like. think? Well, you don't have any regrowth. Well, no. It takes a really long time to grow back. I don't want to use it. Yeah. And then it's got a, so it's got a, a longer side on here and then a little shorter one. So you could also do your eyebrows. It's quite difficult. But you could get like in there mm. to get rid of like the downy fluffy bits. I actually could probably do that to my eyebrows because I, I just, plucking is so dull. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I'm also a little bit tempted to just do the whole, mm, yeah. yo, that's, 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 oh, that's approaching a line, I feel. <laughs> but you go right ahead and see what happens. <laughs> I'm probably not going to. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so on that glamorous note, yeah. thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Next up is something that was an absolute game changer for me. I didn't wear eyeshadow until I discovered this product, and it is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion.